It's Wednesday night. It's time for Super Geeked Up. Woo! Yeah! <laughs> this is episode 99, presented by Frostbite Pictures. I'm Jeff. Thank you for geeking out with us. And I'm Nicole, and you're watching Super Geeked Up, the live geeky pop culture show where we talk all things geeky, play fun geeky games, and hang out with really awesome web series guests. <laughs> and I'm Tanya. You can follow along at Super Geeked Up on Twitter. Make sure you use the hashtag SGU and tweet along with us during the show. We have a really great show tonight. Um, that we are going to be talking about what character we would be in a horror film. Um, we have one of our favorite segments, Geeky Casting. Um, and a new game called Geeky Charades. Ooh. And we have some really awesome guests from the uh, series Split. We do. Let me Hi. introduce them right now. We do. Uh, okay. and folks, oh, hang on. Let me introduce you guys. Don't, don't jump the gun here. Come on. Come on. <laughs> I think right. you have She's such that. a director. I know. <laughs> uh, yes, keep, keep tweeting us, folks, at Super Geeked Up. Uh, let's me introduce our guests here. They're from the series Split, which just had its season two premiere very recently. Uh, we have the, uh, she's got a million titles, creator, co-writer, <laughs> director, uh, whatever else. Uh, yeah. Rebecca Norris. Yay! 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 Hi, everyone. Welcome. Um, Thank you. She's, she's also my, my favorite, favorite weirdo. That's an inside joke. All right. Uh, You're not the only one who gets cheers, Jeff. <laughs> I, I get cheers also, clearly. We, always, uh, we also have co-writer and co-executive producer Gabrielle Glenn. Woo! Yeah. Yeah. Hey. Hey. Thank you for having me. Thank you for being here. And the star of Split, Lisa Romaine. Yeah! Hi, guys. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Thanks for having us. Thank you so much for being here. All right, you, uh, they're going to tell you a little bit about Split in a few minutes. We like to kick things off with the geeky question of the week, Nicole. Okay, geeky question of the week. Everybody ready for it? Oh, yes, we are. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> My heart right. is pounding. Yeah, the drum. No, I'm kidding. Okay, if you could play a character in any horror movie, who would you be? Should we start with Rebecca? Uh, or sure. does someone else want to go first? Anybody? Doesn't matter. Um, go Rebecca. Well, I, have, uh, I have mine. I would want to be the Drew Barrymore character in Scream. Yeah. <laughs> <Nice>. <laughs> she only had to be on for like two minutes, and I'm sure she got like $7 million for that. So that is what I would like. And it totally relaunched her <laughs> career. Like completely yeah, relaunched it's her true. career. Exactly. Right? Like 10 minutes. <laughs> right? Exactly. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. So, so, like, um, yeah. Yeah, the least amount of work for the most amount of money and exposure. I'm all in <laughs> for it. Well, I actually heard she was asked to do, like, the lead character, the lead girl character from the movie, but she instead wanted to do that one, which I think was smart. Oh, wow. Very smart. Because smart I think nailed that character. That's just what I heard. It's a rumor. Hmm, interesting. Yeah. Interesting. Wow. Well, good for her. Uh, She's a smart business smart lady. Smart comedy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's a hey, good we already one. have a tweet. We already have a tweet in. Timekeeper show tweets in. Tanya's back. Yay! Oh, yeah. I, didn't, I, didn't, I didn't even realize she was gone. <laughs> <laughs> <We're> Whatever. <laughs> okay, who's next? Gabrielle, what you next? Oh my. Um. <laughs> I'm not this evil in real life, but I think I would be Carrie, because, you know, nobody was for her, and in the end, she had the last laugh, so. Mm. <laughs> nice. Interesting. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Nice. Nice. Good choice. Yeah. Creepy. <laughs> creepy. Very creepy. Well, then, would you be dropping buckets of blood on people, Gabrielle? <laughs> it depends how angry they got me. Who? <laughs> <laughs> funny. Hello. How about you, Beth? Who would you be? Um, so uh, I was one of my favorite horror movies uh, is Pan's Labyrinth, and I want to be like this guy, that creepy, oh, creepy. guy with the eyes. You know, like the girl's not allowed to touch his food, and I'm really hungry right now, so I could totally channel that. 
<laughs> if she touched one little piece of food, then he came alive. <laughs> that was the creepiest thing, and I just I want to have that 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 power and eyeballs in my hands that I can just kind of. I just love that image. <laughs> oh my goodness! Um, Nobody's had to dinner. We have a tweet from on actually a couple uh, from Cinema on the Rocks. He's saying Dracula, no question. Uh, I can't oh, believe I didn't yeah. think of that. I'm so dumb. <laughs> you haven't even gone. You haven't gone yet. You can still say that. No, but I can't. Yeah, I'm not gonna steal it. Come on. <laughs> you could. Um, Tom Huber saying Sean from Shaun of the Dead. Oh, nice. Oh, yeah. cool. yeah. that's fine. <laughs> Nice. Um, Tanya, what about you? In keeping with the Scream theme, um, I, I would do Sydney. That would be, uh -huh. yeah, for sure. Nice. Yeah. And plus enough Campbell's Canadian, so really. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> you, guys, you guys kind of look alike. You've got the brown hair. Yeah. 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 <laughs> you like a single white female and try to become her. Yeah, that's Ew. not for me at all. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's what you should do. Okay. Ooh, Rebecca, you could play that. <laughs> you could play the okay. Jennifer Jason Lee role. The hair yeah, thing. I guess I, yeah, I guess I could. Yeah, no. oh, that's creepy. Ooh. Yeah, Ooh. I'm going to lie. Well, didn't, didn't she kill someone with the like the heel of her shoe or something? Totally. Didn't she kill the boyfriend? <laughs> yeah. yeah. So Y'all better watch out for me. I got some pointy heels. No. That's all I got to say. <laughs> <laughs> Underground guess... Badger on Twitter says Jack Nicholson in The Shining. Oh, and, mm -hmm. and Anthony Davis says, I don't know why, but I just want to be Steve McQueen from The Blob. <laughs> That's a great film. That's a great film. All right. Go with it. Uh, um, Necrodius is saying he wants to play a classic Universal Studios monster or Invisible Man or Phantom. Okay. Good. Nice. Yes. Choices. Good choice. choices. No. I like it. I like it. <laughs> Wait, did it's you ever go? Did you ever challenge say? to play somebody invisible? It's true. Oh. <laughs> that would be an acting challenge. <laughs> <laughs> you still get paid even though you're invisible? <laughs> yeah, you, so wait, Rebecca is very here. Rebecca's very focused on the money here. That's all yeah. Yeah. I'm a producer. It's my job. <laughs> Jeff, what about you? You don't want to be Annabelle, do you? Oh. Oh, to stop bringing that up. We talked about it yesterday. It freaks me out so much. That damn commercial that keeps showing. I know. Actually, yeah, that freaks me out too. I don't want to think about that movie. All right. Um, so I don't know why I interpreted this question that it had to be like a horror movie, like villain or monster, and I don't know why I didn't think it just could be a normal character because uh, I'm dumb. I didn't know. So <laughs> that's where your brain goes. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Okay. Uh, so I said Dracula because uh, Dracula is, is awesome and vampires are cool. But um, so I said uh, there's a lot. Of, I guess we're on a scream like trend here because I was if I was gonna be any villain, I was thinking Ghostface because um, most of the villains are really disgusting and gross, and I don't want to be a gross, disgusting creature. Uh, and so if you're Ghostface, <laughs> you're just in a costume. <laughs> and, yeah. You're still, uh, and yeah. So there you go. Nice. Can I say that a close second for me was the gentleman from the Buffy episode, Hush. Oh, come on, Tanya. What? what? That's <laughs> so on. creepy. I know. They're terrifying. Why would you want to be that? Because they're terrifying. <laughs> oh, my gosh. If you're going to be a scary monster, up. you want to be a really scary monster, right? Yeah. So, I mean, you might as well go all the way. Something. Wow. <laughs> uh, Hunter's Realm on Twitter says he'd go classical, either Frankenstein's monster or the Wolfman. Uh, Dezels goes more modern. Marty from Cabin in the Woods. Nice. Okay. Oh. I, I refuse to see that movie. I'm really bad with scary mm -hmm. movies, but... Well, you should see it. It's good. Me too. It's, 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 good. it's not so yeah. scary. No. That's okay. Yeah, it's more bloody than scary. Oh, oh okay, okay. Well, that's fun. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Blood's fine. It's fun to be <laughs> Blood is fun. It'd be fun to be like a girl cool. from the ring. She oh, had no, really great sorry. hair, you know, yeah. and she could crawl on walls and like, things. Yeah, yeah. that's a great movie. Cool. Was yeah. creepy. Yeah. That movie scared the hell out of me. Oh yeah. my god! I don't see it. Here, look. Here, oh, here she is. <laughs> yeah, not, oh my god! Oh my god! Oh, I was <laughs> acting. <laughs> Oh my gosh, you're such a good actress, Lisa. I know. <laughs> Everybody, go watch Split now. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, <laughs> this is hair in Split. Yeah. 
<laughs> I'm limited to the Academy Award. Asking you, Jeff, to specify which Dracula. Uh, the original from the book, because it's one of my favorite books, actually. It's very good. But awesome. is this from a movie? That was a super geeky question. Very geeky question. It was great. Yeah. <laughs> thank thank you. Geeky answer. <laughs> <laughs> I think for my choice, um, it'd be more from like for action, but I will be Alice from Resident Evil. Oh, I, I should have known. Know. I should have known. Yeah. Yeah. I know that's obvious. I was like trying to think of a really scary one, but I'm like, uh, I can't. I don't really watch any scary movies, so I don't have. No, you don't. You just Disney watch. Money. You watch Nickelodeon and Disney Channel and <laughs> Care Bears. Yeah. See, I had a delayed childhood, so <laughs> basically. Everything that you guys watched when you were five, I'm just catching up She's on She's just now. discovering the Smurfs right now, actually. <laughs> She's just discovering the Care Bear stare now. Yeah. Oh, my God, the Care Bear stare. Yeah, dude, that freaked me out. When I was a child, I didn't like when they all got in a row like that. that Why did that freak you out? out? I don't know. I didn't like it. And they like, stand yeah. like this and like... their bellies out and the, the rainbow cat. I didn't like it. Projecting <laughs> rainbow energy is freaking you? <laughs> really? That is terrifying. It did. I don't know what it was. Just the collective mob, you know, with the... I just didn't like it. <laughs> it uh, the Care Bears are the ones who had the, um, like, the ice, dude, the ice dude as their villain, right? Yes. Oh, I don't remember. I, so. I never watched it. So that guy was freaking creepy, creepy man. That guy was freaking creepy. <laughs> Somebody tell me on Twitter what his name was. That The ice dude. From the <laughs> the, the um, ice. It was an ice dude. Uh... <laughs> Underground Badger tweets said he wanted to be any character from the movie Spore. Yep. Thanks, and... Underground Badger. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, Pandas Panda tweets said, joining late, but I made it after a 13 hour work day. Oh, thank you for oh, supporting me. Oh, nice. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> um, I would like to say to Underground Badger that technically the villain in that was a fungus. So. I'm wondering if he wants to be a fungus. Uh, <laughs> why not? Fungus among us. <laughs> All right, cool. Awesome answers, everybody. Uh, hey, Tanya. Yeah? We're going to talk to our guests now, right? Okay, we can do that. <laughs> um, yeah, so, um, Rebecca, why don't you tell us a little bit about Split, how it came about, all that fun stuff. Sure, absolutely. Um, Split is a Sophie drama um, based on something that happened to someone I knew back in high school. Oh. Uh, their mother received an anonymous letter that the husband had been up to no good <laughs> for a while, if you know what I'm saying. I don't think say up to no good. Like, I'm just thinking like he mur he's a mass murderer is what I'm thinking. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> We're going he's a extreme. scary horror monster. He did, he did the Care Bear <laughs> stare. <laughs> he did the Care Bear stare at a lot of different girls, basically. <laughs> Put it that he way. Put his shirt up. He's put his stomach in them. They're like, oh, come on. Not anyway. Nice. That was well done. <laughs> so, um, so, yes. So, our protagonist, Dana, played by the lovely, lovely Lisa. Um, it has to go through a very nasty divorce, <laughs> and she has to completely reinvent her life while she's getting stalked by the ex-husband's mistress. Oh. What? <laughs> what? I know. It's a little crazy, but it's got a little bit of everything. It's got drama, comedy, thriller. It's, it's got it all. It's got it all. you got to watch. Very cool. Um, um, and you're a multi-hyphenate on the show. <laughs> Um, what yeah. don't you do in a <laughs> with Split? <laughs> you have a very, 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 very low budget. You do <laughs> a lot of the work yourself. She did True. not carry my luggage. So I'm very oh. upset about that. I'm That's sorry about that. We did not have Evian water or blue M&Ms or anything like that. Just, uh, you know, she's very demanding. It was and horrible. I to... <laughs> it's horrible. I'll never work that way again. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Um, but, yeah, so I did a lot of a lot of different positions, as did, as did Gabrielle. We basically, yeah. between the two of us, were, you know, half a film crew just between the two of us. And then we did have, yeah. you know, a skeleton crew. But as far as the producing, we do all the producing, writing, I edit, I do the sound design, Foley, sound mixing, and oh. the website and all the PR and all that kind of sound stuff. Composing. 
Oh, fine. Yes. You're just the most amazing walk, person ever. Man, <laughs> that's not what I'm saying. I walk she backwards. She's really and tired. <laughs> I'm just saying, like, if you want to make a web series, you can do it. You just got to yes. be willing to do the do work. It. You just do it. Um, so, Gabrielle, how was it like sharing, like, writing um, responsibilities and all that fun stuff uh, between the two of you? Like, how did, that, how did that work for you guys? I was really happy to be a part of this project because it gave me a chance to work on something episodic in the scripted world. Um, every, you know, Rebecca and I would meet to beat out you know, storylines and go away and then we do a lot of things over email and Google, you know, hangout and phone. So it can, it's doable. You know, people shouldn't be discouraged if your writing partner isn't right next to you. Like, technology is an amazing thing. Look at what we're doing right now. <laughs> yeah, I know. So it can be done. Just communication is so, so very important. That's very all. Cool. Very cool. Because yeah, you were co-writer and co-producer and probably also co-editor and co-publicity and co-everything else as well. <laughs> Probably. Publicity, yeah. yeah. Rebecca does the editing, but we, we definitely work closely on a lot of different things together. We had to, getting the nice. word out there. Um, but she's right. You can do it. Anybody can do it. Just talk to people and network and get in festivals, because that's how we met you guys, and bust your ass. I mean, pardon my friends. Just do the work. Oh. You're totally allowed to swear on this. It's, it's, <laughs> yeah. Don't worry about that. Awesome. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Fuck yeah. <laughs> right. <laughs> um, so, Lisa, uh, yeah. you played uh, Dana or Dana? Dana. Dana. Um, yes. Tell us how that was, and how did you get involved in all that fun stuff? Did you do auditions? Did you know these guys beforehand? I didn't know these ladies beforehand. When I went into audition with them, um, I, we had so much fun, I think, from the get-go, and I, I think we probably got into some very long conversation about my marriage and, you know, the woes of... No. <laughs> but I remember connecting with them and really having an enjoyable uh, audition um, and feeling really comfortable with them, and, and uh, it, it was super fun from the beginning, and um, it, it was just... It was just so great to be a part of something, number one, you know, that was just made by girls. Sorry, Jeff. Um, but it was a, a little bit of girl power going on there. Um, <laughs> this is turning into a feminist show. No, um, no, I shouldn't say that word. Everybody hates that word now. No, um, nothing wrong with that word. No, we love that. We love that. Female. <laughs> uh, but it was just so much fun. Like, de like Rebecca said, there's a little bit of everything in it, and I got to kind of channel my angry woman, you know, hear me roar kind of thing. But then we had a lot of comedic moments, and um, and it was amazing how we could do so much in such a little amount of time. I've never worked so fast in my whole life. We did 12 episodes in four and a half days, I think. Um, yeah. Are you and kidding me? <laughs> no. No. <laughs> no. It was intense, but we had so much fun. We just laughed and giggled. I, I would be like crying one second, and then we'd be like laughing so hard, and then back to crying, and then back to... <laughs> <laughs> it was like no, you know, two two takes, three takes tops, you know, and then we were on to the next, and uh, it was just a really fun time. Um, were, was that draining on you as a performer, or did you kind of thrive on it? Yeah, I think as as performers, we love, or any filmmakers, or anybody that's doing anything that you love, it's so draining. But at the same time, you're so electrified, and and you know, if you're with people that you love, you know, it, it's just it's a blast. I, I I would never any project that I've ever done that I really love, I've never you know, there's nothing to complain about. You're exhausted, and you're you know feeling kind of empty, but at the same time, you're filled up. So oh, it's all good. Awesome. Very cool. Oh, warm fuzzies. Oh. <laughs> I love you, Kevin. Nicole, why don't you tell us about progress? Oh yeah, uh, progress oh, yeah, is big. that project. Uh, <laughs> it's about a steam-powered internet in the Victorian era. And Jack, Dur Jack Durp is on the loose, and um, we also have a spin-off series. It stars the main character. Leading lady from um, Progress is called Asa Cam Harlot, and um, she gives advice 
about love life and the internet. So check that out too. Ooh, awesome. Nice. nice. That was um, good. And <laughs> Jeff, what's that other show you do? Uh, the other show I do is called Super Knocked Up. That's about a female <laughs> supervillain gets triggers by her superhero nemesis. And, they have to <laughs> um, and I'm on a show called Asset, which is about um, a regular Canadian guy is unknowingly recruited by the CIA to take down a Russian arm ring. <laughs> Do you see how much I unknowingly? Oh, yeah. that word now? Unknowingly. <laughs> unknowingly. <laughs> are, are, any, are any Canadians not regular? Really? <laughs> um, well, I would say we have Justin Bieber, but I don't really want to admit to that. Uh, and, um, that's unfortunate. Yeah. <laughs> uh, all right, guys, we, uh, we have Geeky Charades and Geeky Casting coming up. So uh, we're going to have some cool games coming up. Uh, we're going to do some news, too. I'm going to share some tweets in a second here. But uh, Split, uh, Rebecca, when tell us when uh, what up, where you're at in the episodes. Like, you just released a couple, right? New season two episodes? We did. We released uh, episode one and two of season two uh, just last Thursday morning. And um, the next two, it'll be a total of four in the season, should be coming out in about two weeks or so. Putting some extra special awesome. work into them to make sure they're extra good. I, I can see them in the dancing. They're going to be. I was going to say, they're going to be They're going to be yes. like this. Yes. <laughs> That's what you'll do after you watch the episode. I, I do that normally anyway. So. Well, yeah. That's what makes you weird. Well, one of the many things. Right. Where, where, where can people watch the show? People can watch the show at split, S-P-L-I-T, the series, dot com. Awesome. Cool. Are there spelling lessons? Are there spelling lessons there too? <laughs> yeah, it's sometimes you know, know. we can run together. I just I want everyone to know that it is S P L I T split. <laughs> awesome. Dude, I'm loopy. I worked all day. I'm, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm, on I'm on loopy. Twitter. Okay. Tweet us in what other words you like us to spell, folks. Uh, all right. <laughs> uh, on Twitter, Timekeeper Show says from earlier, uh, I'm picturing unfaithful Care Bears doing the Care Bear stare. <laughs> <laughs> I, my character, Dana, is married to a Care Bear. <laughs> yes. That's yeah. a good he, has, he has lots of rainbows going on. Yes. <laughs> he was, he was sh shooting out rainbows. Yeah. Oh, uh, no. Okay. I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> good good job, my child had ruined. Yeah. But I think it's a good like code word if you know for some if you want to call, no if you want to like call someone out for being like a cheater or a liar you're like they're being a care bear but then no one else really knows. It's like, I like you know? that. Like, you can say like they're shooting some rainbows. Yeah. I, mean, <laughs> I like it. It's gonna sweep the nation like Completely. tomorrow. It's gonna be everywhere. It's gonna be on the Today Show. It's gonna be great. <laughs> That's you know, like a little sweater. dirty. I don't know. Uh, Anthony Davis on Twitter says he helped me out with the Care Bear villain name. He says it wasn't a name. Darkheart sounds good to me. I'll go along with that. Darkheart, uh, maybe. Oh, maybe. Like some weird castle or something. I don't know. Uh, yeah, like an ice castle. You think that was He Man? Yeah. No, that's all right. That's Skeletor and Castle Skeletor Grayskull. Skeletor and Grayskull. Yeah. Okay, I don't think it was a castle. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. I don't remember. Um, back to our first question, which was the uh, horror movie character. Uh, Pandas Panda says, uh, how about Doctor Who, the Weeping Angels? Let me tell you a quick story about that. Um, so uh, Jonathan Robbins has been on our show many times. Uh, Tanya obviously knows him very well from Clutch and Out With Dad. That He's going to be here next week, actually. <laughs> yeah. we, were at, we were at San Diego Comic-Con, and there's this woman dressed as a weeping angel from Doctor Who. And... And it freaked Jonathan the fuck out. Like, I'm not really? joking. Yeah, like, the woman, she would just, like, slowly approach him, right? Get closer and closer. And he, he's like, no, really, like, he's like, stop it. Stop, please stop doing that. And then he would, like, keep back away. And then she came back later while we were recording something. She stood right behind him, and he turned around, and he, like, he, like, oh, my God. He, oh. I've never seen him scared in his life. It was amazing. Oh, my God. I know how to distract Jonathan when we play board games. That's a great idea. <laughs> yeah. yeah, tell everybody next time, do that. Dress as a weeping angel, and, oh, my God, he won't be able to keep his shit together. Oh, that's amazing. <laughs> well, we should do it next week when he comes on the show. We should all dress as it. And just do this the whole time. 
Yeah. <laughs> oh. oh, we're mean. <laughs> we're mean people. <laughs> All right, so uh, okay. let's take. We're gonna do some. We're gonna do some news in a second here in our games, but let's take a quick commercial break. If you're watching the recorded version, you're gonna see a commercial right here, and we'll see you back in a second. Welcome back <laughs> from commercial break. Right. Well, that, that wasn't even sing songy. <laughs> I know, I know. I need to work on it. I always just forget until like right before. And <laughs> hope you're doing that like commercial that. for the new Care Bears yeah. movie, Care Bears Go Bad. <laughs> Care Bears stare at your wife. <laughs> oh, um, we have the actual name. It's No Heart. That's from Lindsay Running. No, no Heart. heart. No heart. Yeah. No heart. Oh. That's a little bit on the nose, isn't it? Yeah. It's, it's kind of obvious. He does not care. And I wonder who the bad guy is. Oh, well, the guy with guess, no heart. Care Bears, I guess Care Bears is along the nose, too, I suppose, if you think about it. So that's true, actually. <laughs> Oh, man. I, think it just, I just found out that there's a group of, of um, men that call themselves bronies. Yeah. You guys heard about this? And yes. that's, that's love, my little Is this pony. I Love the Pony people? Yeah. 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 And my daughter's teacher is one of them. And I'm like, well, is this a creepy thing? I no, don't know if it's no. creepy. It's, it's no, just... It's not. It just it's like is what it is. They're like yeah, trekkie, it, but for ponies. Wow. Yeah. yeah. It's, a, it's a very legit wow. fandom. A, a guy... Fanboying over. Nicole sounds like she's very, very. well aware of this. Yeah, you're very well versed in this. It all seems crazy to me, but I don't know. It's a little creepy. Just a little bit. I, know, I think it's just they're just really passionate about something. Same thing as being yeah. passionate about an anime show. They just happen to be passionate about Wild right. Pony. Um, they just happen that, to. That just happens to be what they like. Um, but yeah, it's. Very, it's it, yeah. I've I've encountered a few, and they're just they're just really yeah. passionate about My Little Pony. It's, so it's what, a good what show. What are they passionate about <laughs> though? Is it, it the show, or is it the actual My Little Pony with the little you know the the tail that you can brush and everything? Like I think I it's, it's the whole universe. The cool like, yeah, it's the whole universe. Okay. But okay. most of the people that I know that have sort of gotten involved with it is they started watching the show. They started watching okay. it, and then they yeah. really liked it. And basically, it's like buying action figures, but it's My Little Pony. Okay. So. All right. Yeah. Well, that makes it slightly <laughs> better, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's something I never thought we'd talk about. It's super geeked up. <laughs> it goes hand in hand with Care Bears. I'm glad <laughs> that I could educate you about I this. Guess. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, all right, let's do some news before we get into our games. The call. What's next week? <laughs> next week is episode 100. Holy Yay! shit! Wow. Yes, Anne. That's a big deal, man. It's a very big deal. We're very excited. For sure. We are. We're gonna have the. Um, we're very excited, actually. We're gonna have the creator and cast of one of the most popular web series ever. Like you're talking of like millions and millions of views. Uh, out with Dad is and tons of awards. Oh, tons of awards. awards. Out with Dad will be here. Yeah. Which yeah. one is it? It's amazing. What? Out with Dad. Out with Dad. Oh, out with Dad. Yeah, of course. Yeah, That's awesome. Yeah, everybody oh, knows out with yeah. Dad. Yeah. Um, I went for coffee with uh, Lindsay, who plays Vanessa, and they're very excited to be here next week. So. <laughs> Oh, and three three le uh, leading ladies and uh, Jonathan Robbins, who's the main actor there, and J uh, Jason Lever, the creator, writer, director, will be here uh, next week. So, yeah, oh, be a lot of, a lot of fun. Yeah. We got some. Uh, I think we're doing some new games too next week. Yes. Yes. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Very evil. Well, you know, <laughs> making your friends guinea pigs. It's fine. <laughs> All right, so definitely don't mess next week, 100th episode. Uh, some uh, some superhero uh, movie TV show news in the last week since we've been on. Uh, the long-rumored and just stating Deadpool movie has finally been given a green light. Oh! oh. Yes! Oh. 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 I didn't hear that. How did I miss mean. that? Uh, I totally missed that. Because you, I don't know, you've been, been hanging with your bronies. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, no. Uh, so it is set for 2016 is when it will be uh, hitting. Uh, we are is not totally confirmed, but everybody is assuming that Ryan Reynolds will mm -hmm. be playing Deadpool as he played before and as he's long wanted to. Um, so, which I think is a great choice. Um, forgive my um, not thorough knowledge on this. Um, is that part of the Marvel universe or not? 
Oh my god, he's even a Canadian, Tanya. What the hell's wrong with you? I know, I know who Ryan Reynolds is. <laughs> no, Deadpool is Canadian. Is he really? I'm pretty sure he is. Somebody confirm that for me. Uh, yeah. <laughs> we need proof here. That Deadpool, Deadpool is part of the Marvel Universe, yes. Well, cool. Awesome. Yeah. There's like a, a teaser floating around, like a pilot teaser floating around on the internet. It's really cool. You should watch it if you can find it. All right. Okay. Well, <laughs> let's go search the internet right now. No, the internet is a very small place. We'll totally find it really quickly. No, because it was, it was like a accidentally released. Remember, it's just like um like a month or two ago. It's, it's a big deal because. They had thought that they were going to be working on it, and there was like test footage, and then it just was like someone leaked it. But they think it was like a planned leak, so yeah. that they did it to get oh, yeah, like yeah. the attention, so that they could get the green light. But um, I don't know. good old planned leaks. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like all of those convenient photos that suddenly arrived from the Star Wars set. <laughs> 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 the Kardashians are shocked. <laughs> How could this uh, happen? <laughs> uh, uh, limited release tweets in. Wow, congrats on getting to episode 100. Next week I'll be turning in for sure. Hey. Thanks, guys. Nice. Um, and the Crotis was saying that uh, Mark would be an awesome Deadpool. That is uh, Mark Fazil, that. My, my lead actor from Super Knocked Up he's talking about. <laughs> uh, I'm not sure about that. Thank you. I don't, I, let's not give him too much credit there, uh, Necrodi. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh, ouch. <laughs> <laughs> All right, then. Okay. Uh, I'm, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Hey, this Sunday, by the way, I'm actually going to be with Mark. We're going to be doing Super Geeked Up right at uh, ITV Fest in Vermont. Sunday, Yay. 5 p.m., if you're there. We're going to be doing, like, we like to do these at Fest. We're going to do it uh, with a live audience there, audience participation, volunteers, we're going to play our geeky games with everybody. So uh, definitely please swing by. Super Knocked Up is screening as well there. You can get, go to itvfest.org. Dot com, uh, one of those. Uh, <laughs> probably, I think both go there. Uh, <laughs> and you can find the whole schedule there. Uh, it's going it's to be awesome, though. It's a, I'm, I'm really, really impressed with this lineup they got. I, I can't wait to go. <laughs> um, th we're experiencing a slight little bit of backlash against Ryan Reynolds online right now. Uh, oh, my goodness, really? What? Yeah. Um, uh, what? Underground Badger is saying he's hoping they recast because he destroyed uh, Green Lantern and has had a right, lot of... First off, well, everybody oh, yeah. hates Green Lantern. Okay. Everybody hates on the Green Lantern. I actually like the Green Lantern movie, and I think he was really good as Hal Jordan. But anyway, even so, like, don't blame him for that, right? Even the, I would blame the director. No. Yeah. Blame the director, for sure. <laughs> the director's responsible for, like, getting the performances out of the actors, so it's... Is that what a director does? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what, what, what do you well, do? I've been doing this all wrong. Yeah. I don't know why oh, I've been doing it. Anytime I suck now, Rebecca, I'm coming for you. <laughs> it's all your fault. As you fault. should. As you should. It's my job to make sure you don't suck. <laughs> well, I mean, obviously, no. You know, you're right. The actors do are there because they're professional and that's their job. But sometimes, you know, the, the director has to keep them on track as to where you are in the storyline. You know what I mean, and then and sometimes the director yeah. can see where it's headed, and the and the performer only knows like what's in the script, you know, because they don't have maybe they haven't seen the storyboard. So that's what I'm saying. It's like then they have to relay that to. We got people. you. Mm -hmm. We're with you. I would agree. <laughs> 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 uh, I mean, you know, it's all their fault. <laughs> their fault. It's a good fallback. We're back. <laughs> hey. Oh God! So much pressure. So much pressure. <laughs> what will they do? No, but it's true. Like because when you're acting, you can't see what you're doing. So the director yeah. is hopefully watching the takes and seeing what's going on. Yeah. And yeah. if you know if if you're not getting the performance that you need or it's just not happening, you know, it's the director's job to like make sure that it happens. So, well, even in terms of, like, making sure it, uh, the actress performance fits in with the overall arc of the story, right? Mm -hmm. So, I mean, yeah, someone exactly. could be doing something entirely right. different, but, like, like, oh, you know, later on, you know, you need to remember that this happens, so you can't be doing whatever it is you're doing. Um, and so sort of keeping mm -hmm. track of that. Yeah, just to have well. the big picture in mind so that the actor can focus on their performance in the present, yes. in the scene yeah. that they're in, you know? Yeah. So they don't have to worry about any of that kind of stuff. They can just act. Right, yeah. and sometimes they might do that with force or by withholding food. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> no, that didn't happen. But no, I'm sorry, that didn't happen. 
We did so at gunpoint, you know, like some people just use, you know, different methods to get the performance that they need. So that's how you did 12 episodes in four well. days, is what yes, you're saying. You just exactly. yes. food. Okay. Exactly. Having oh. an AK-47 in your face is a, a good motivator for people. Uh, <laughs> be a little blonde, but don't, don't be fooled. You can pack. Yes, I got rainbows to spare, so watch out. <laughs> Uh, on, on Twitter, Necrodia says, hmm, the, the innovative new definition of director tonight on SGU. <laughs> hey, folks, now you, now you know what it is. Um, In case you were wondering, there, there's what I'm fired. At Dezzle says, I really enjoy Green Lantern. For once, I'm agreeing with Jeff. All right, there you go. Good wow. to see you, uh, <laughs> hey, hey, Natanya, uh, Underground Badger's uh, wife, I believe, Lindsay, right, is tweeting against him here? Do you see um, that tweet or no? I don't see that one. All right, I'll just read it. Here's, that, oh, yes. Lindsay oh, yes. running, that wasn't Ryan Reynolds' fault. You liked him in Wolverine and Blade Trinity. <laughs> <laughs> we started a domestic dispute. <laughs> yeah. oh, no. I like how they're, though, not actually saying it to each other. They're just tweeting it. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> and I know exactly where they're sitting other. in their house right now, too. Yeah. Right. They're sitting right <laughs> next to each other, just tweeting at each other. Too, because I know there aren't any ladies out there that are bashing on Ryan Reynolds. So, you know, oh, I don't know. I haven't watched anything. Yeah. I don't want to watch anything. He can just stand <laughs> there. That's fine. <laughs> I can say we are very proud of our Ryans here, both Gosling and Reynolds. Um, mm. so, well, you, you have know. them all. I know. Yeah. You have the, the claim on Ryans. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you gotta share a little bit. Well, you know, they spend a lot of time down there. Yeah, They're I guess. still ours, though. <laughs> we still own them, though. Yeah. Can I actually ask you a question, because I just don't know the answer to one nation. Was The Notebook filmed in Canada? No. Oh, okay. Because it was filmed in Georgia? Because oh. the girl, why well, can't oh. I remember, Rachel McAdams and Ryan Gosling are both Canadian. They are, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. I know no tax breaks on well. Canadian actors. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> um, she was she was discovered right out of university. Yeah. Oh, cool. Oh, wow. Yeah. <laughs> because Wait, underground, <laughs> underground Badger now <laughs> says there are not enough characters on Twitter to contain my rage over your GL Green Lantern bashing. Wait. <laughs> I wasn't That's bashing. Towards Lindsay. I was supporting Green Lantern. You're bashing the Green Lantern movie. <laughs> no, I think he's trying to say that towards Lindsay Running. I believe oh. he just forgot to mention her in his rant okay, there. Okay. <laughs> she took over his Twitter to redeem him. You know? oh, maybe, oh. maybe she stole his phone. Yeah. Maybe she kicked him in the face and knocked him out. <laughs> With rainbow. <laughs> right. There's so much violence inspired by the show. God. I know. Uh, that's right. Yeah. All right. Well, let's. So, what other? What other news item? Um, Super geeky. Yeah. So, uh, Greg Belant Greg Belanti, uh, one of the hardest working guys in TV. Uh, he's doing Arrow and The Flash. And guess what? He's doing another t uh, new superhero series next year. Supergirl has been. Uh, Oh, okay. by CBS, yes. Oh. Supergirl series next season. Um, are wow. they? Are they? Is it going to be the people from Smallville, or is it a totally? No, different? no, no. Totally. I'm sure, totally different. Okay, good. Because. What? Whoa, 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 whoa! Are you about ah. to bash Smallville? Now I'm going to have the rage I can't contain. <laughs> no, 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 no! I'm not going to. I just think that a lot <laughs> of them have moved care. on from that. Maybe. Yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, Laura, Laura Vandervert is in a. Uh, she's in Bitten, right yeah. So I mean, she's and that just got I think renewed. So it did. Yeah. yeah. I was like, oh, how's she gonna handle that? <laughs> well, who's playing Supergirl? We don't. I don't know. They just know. they just announced that it was gonna be a series, so I'm sure they're gonna start. You know, nice. and it's Tanya not till next season. So. Might have a chance. Tanya. <laughs> Tanya, right. there you go. You could be Nev Campbell and Supergirl. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> we will tweet to the producers and make this happen. Do it. Yes, do it. Start a do tweeting it. campaign? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> no, I want Ryan Reynolds campaign. to play That's a tweeting girl. campaign. <laughs> I just want him to be in everything. <laughs> <laughs> just every producer you know. Cast this person. <laughs> um, Necrodius tweets in, let's just all agree that Batman could still beat up the Green Lantern and end this. I agree, sir. The discussion has ended. Good. 
Batman definitely beats up Green Lantern. I agree. Oh, well, yeah, that's just obvious for sure. Yeah. <laughs> um, and, Nicody says, is saying, uh, yes, um, in response to your question about the notebook, Nicole, um, not everything is filmed in Canada. Hashtag shocking news. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was a bitch yeah. slap. Yeah. Sorry, I should have known. <laughs> wow. And uh, Underground Badger says, is it a bad sign that instead of communicating directly that we use your show to fight and express our feelings? <laughs> so, totally <Yeah>. natural. <laughs> <laughs> Um, it is geeky charades. Um, so ooh, ooh. it's basically charades, but with a geeky twist, meaning we're doing geeky things. That's pretty much the difference. <laughs> um, so what we're going to do is we've already divided up into two teams. Um, we have uh, Jeff and Rebecca on one team. Yeah! Woo! Um, and Nicole, Lisa, and Gabrielle on the other team. We were trying to think if we could do, woo! like, girls against guy. <laughs> but um, Jeff shot that, that was down. my suggestion. <laughs> yeah, totally that um, so basically, what we're doing is um, one person. You guys can decide who's going to act things out for your let a lot of period of time. Um, and I'm going to give you a whole list of things that you can use, and you just go through and pick the ones that you think you can do. <laughs> okay, okay. Um, I think we should do what about a minute and a half for the list, oh maybe. My, oh my God! Really? That long? Well, I mean, it, it, could take, it takes yeah. a while to do charades. All right, all right, all right, yeah, that's true. Uh, like, yeah, or maybe maybe two minutes. Let's save my math. Uh, uh, no, no, I'll do 90 seconds. Come on, I don't want to be tortured. Minute 30, okay, minute 30, minute 30. Okay, fine. Um, so, yeah, so who want, what team wants to go first? Come oh, on. I will go first. Awesome. Yeah. Okay. okay. Um, and out of the two of you, who wants to be the... And by, and by um, us, I mean Rebecca's going first. No, no. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> You're horrible. Why am I You're being cruel. volunteer first? It's your show. You go first. Well, you're the guest. Guests like to go, <laughs> guests go first. We're being nice. That's not nice. So you're not nice. hard. I promise. All right, fine. I'll go, I'll go first. I'll go. Okay, okay, good. So what I'm going to ask everyone to do except for Jeff um, is close your chat on the, the right-hand side of your screen so you can't see the list that I'm about to post. Okay. You mean he can totally cheat? <laughs> no, no, no. I'm he, needs to see, he needs to see the. Uh, he needs to see what okay. he's down to. And Rebecca's guessing. Okay. <laughs> I'm ready. Are you, are you, are you everyone's closed the, the chat? Yeah. Awesome. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm copying and pasting now. Right. I'm going to click myself on, so I'm, hopefully I'm going to be on the camera the whole time here. Are you seeing me, Rebecca? Yeah, I see you. <laughs> okay. Do you want me to time them? Dude, what's If you up? could time them, Nicole, that would be awesome. Thank you. Okay. God damn it. <sighs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All right, I'm taking these like, headphones I off. I was like, what the? I might have to stand up for some of these, possibly. <laughs> Oh my god, that'd be a hilarious you tried to describe. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm keeping track. I'm going to knock shit over here. Hang on. And basically, all the right ones that you get, you get a point. Okay. And are we going to a certain <laughs> amount of points? Is that how do you win? Whoever gets the most. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Within the amount of time. Within the minute and a half. Oh, okay. Right, so oh, Tanya, okay. Tanya I, can, I can't say anything, right? I just have to do char yeah. charades, right? Yeah, just charades. Dude, okay. these, why are these so hard, Tanya? Come on. They aren't hard. We've already. I'm not going to give any hints, but there should be one that's really easy. There's a couple that are. There's a couple that aren't bad. I would suggest starting with those. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Please. Good strategy. Yeah. You just tell me when you're ready, and then I'll start the timer. All right. You ready, Rebecca? Yeah. And you guys guess along at home because we're probably going to not do so well. Uh, <laughs> Thanks for having no confidence in me. No, I mean, I was... <laughs> it's more his own skills, I believe. He's <laughs> and Jeff, make sure to put the um, thing on you so she could see you. I, yeah, I already did. Okay. Okay, I'm ready. Okay. Go. Superman. Yep. <laughs> Uh, uh, what's his face? Skywalker, Luke Skywalker. 
Uh, no more. Han Solo. What about that Darth Vader? The, the other ones, you know? <laughs> I can hardly see you. What? I don't know what the hell that is. <laughs> yeah, no, Princess Leia? <laughs> I, can't, I can hardly see it. Jerking off. <laughs> oh, this is what it looks like you're doing. Jesus. <laughs> Sorry. Superman. <laughs> Superman. Okay. So, okay, Frankenstein. Frank Superman. <laughs> Frank meets Frankenstein. Poor Rebecca. <laughs> <laughs> Quasimodo. <laughs> What's going on here? Okay. Uh, rubber band gun. No. Uh, arrow. Bow and arrow. Shooting bow and arrow. Ah! Yeah. Ah, these are so hard. <laughs> I knew, by the way, I gotta put my headphones back in. I knew <laughs> when I was trying to do fucking Buffy, you were gonna think it was jerking off. I know, that's why I put it in. Uh, <laughs> it doesn't look anything like Buffy. How would I ever Because it's, it's just like that fucking, it's just like the fucking episode, hush. That's, that's totally why I put it. <laughs> God damn it, Tanya. Oh. Um, do you want me to say the ones you were trying to do? Well, no, I'll say it. So I was. You look, you were right on Luke Skywalker. I just, I needed you to say the movie Star Wars. Oh shoot! Yeah. Okay, sorry. I was waiting for you to do like this or something, like to show that it was. Yeah, like, do I no. have to do that? Ah, <laughs> ah, <laughs> ah, I don't think it was Rebecca's fault here. I'm not saying it was. I'm not saying it was her fault at all. <laughs> sorry, I, was I, trying, I, I, I was trying to do. Um, I knew you were gonna think it was Frankenstein too. I was trying to do a zombie too. Oh, okay. Hmm. That's a hard one. See, it's very tough. I'm it's surprised tough you didn't do C-3PO or the Weeping Angels. Weeping Angels yeah. would have been hard. I don't think I would have gotten yeah. that one. Oh, I, I gave it away earlier. Um, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, I guess. I mean, yeah, I guess. But, yeah. Oh, well. Did we get any? How many did we get? I a think couple? we got one. We only got one? <laughs> we got Superman. You got Superman. That's so sad. That's okay. Well. <laughs> we'll do better next time. All right. <laughs> uh, people, okay, wait, I want to share some of the guesses on Twitter. Uh, Mighty Mouse, uh, SpongeBob SquarePants, The Mummy. That's a good one. Uh, actually, Timekeeper says, The Mummy, this game is going swell. <laughs> oh, no. Nicornius um, is also saying these are so hard, and again, that's what she said. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> okay. Right. I hope I get some jerking off ones again. I'm an expert at that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, let's do the next team. I'm going to put out my list. Okay. Um, so make sure everyone closes their chat. But who wants to do the acting out the team, the next team? Probably nobody after my debacle. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know. I could do it if you want. Do it, Nicole. Okay. Yeah. Jeff, do you want to keep time? Okay. Yeah. You will? Okay. So everyone else close their chat except for Nicole. Okay. Close. Close. I don't know closed? Yeah, mine's open. There's it open? Everyone else yeah. is closed? All right. Yeah. So Lisa and Gabrielle will be guessing. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. Ready? Uh, wait. You know what? I should move my chair just in case. I don't... <laughs> Um, okay. So it's from number 15 down, Nicole. It just went okay. right up. Yeah. <laughs> um, okay. Uh, let me see which one I want to start with. Uh, anyway, by the way, Chris Hadley, before I said it, tweeted it. He actually got something. He said, I knew you were doing Buffy. I think you also did a zombie. Thank you, you Chris. <laughs> Thank you, you Chris. Wow. <laughs> Right. Somebody gets it. <laughs> One person. Some, somebody, somebody, somebody thinks of Buffy before they think of jerking off. 
with this crap? I think a lot of guys think about the best way to think about jerking off. Right. Oh. <laughs> okay. I, uh, okay, Chris Ellie just said, I think a lot of people have jerked off the Buffy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> All right. Okay. Are you ready, Nicole? Yes, I'm ready. All right, okay. ready. Are you ready for All time? Right. Yep, ready. ready. And go. Uh, oh, Flash. Flash Gordon? <laughs> There's a... That's good. Doro. <laughs> That's that? Harry yeah. Potter. <laughs> okay. Uh... <laughs> oh, okay, so... The Joker? The Wolfman? <laughs> uh, wow. Uh, happy. Oh my gosh. Uh, okay, that's even right. Um, okay. <laughs> it? Okay. Oh, Hunger Games. Uh, Katniss Everdeen. Yes. Uh, vampire. True Blood. Vampire. vampire. Okay. Fangs. <laughs> you're, you're smoking? You have a beard? Um, Marijuana? Hi. <laughs> uh... Uh, wow. at home. Oh God, that was good. Time. <laughs> okay. Time. <laughs> well, um, I I don't want to say that Nicole's team kind of crushed you. Um, <laughs> yeah, we suck. <laughs> but they totally got four. Well, I would I would like to say two things. Number one, those are so much easier than the ones I got. Number two, <laughs> I did the same bow and arrow for Hunger Games, and she did the same thing I did. <laughs> well, they didn't get it, so. <laughs> what was this one that you were smoking oh, and like well, going okay. like this? What was that? Well, it was the Cheshire Cat, but I realized the Cheshire oh. Cat is the one that's smoking. But I was like trying to like, I didn't know how to like do the. I didn't know what else to do. <laughs> I, thought of that. I thought it was a Cheshire Cat, and I thought, oh, no, that's too old. Nobody would remember that. But I, oh my god. See, you should have done that one, Dad. Why didn't okay, you do that? Okay, now I get it. I wasn't it. on my list, Rebecca. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm, I'm shocked that you didn't do C-3PO, Jeff. Like, I'm shocked. How am I supposed to do C-3PO without you talking? My husband was doing it. They're just doing something. I don't know, robot -y. <laughs> Great. You probably think I'm freaking double jerking off or something. <laughs> <laughs> you don't go like this. You go like this. <laughs> 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 All right, there's no question. Nicole's team won. So, well, I thought with a minute and a half it was going to be too long. If we did more oh, see, I thought I thought we Rebecca was going to have a chance to do it, so we could have cut off. I guess not. All right, yeah. it's too long. I think if we do it with with yeah, more than yeah, two yeah. rounds, so it ends yeah, up being. Yeah. Well, um, see, that was a bad choice, and Rebecca, you should have done the charades. <laughs> Damn it. All right, well, you just have to have us on again, and we'll do charades next time. Yeah. This is true. All right, fair enough. <laughs> All right, uh, so how many did they get? Four or five? They got four. Yeah, okay. <laughs> okay, you need to get no, over it. No question. You need to breathe and get over it. Hey, Chad, she had Harry Potter, by the way, which was very excellently done, Nicole. That I was really very well done. I was she had Harry that. Potter. I had Hermione Granger. How much easier would you Harry Potter than Hermione Granger? Yeah, Here's my thought with Hermione Granger. You do your hair all big, and then you do... What? Who's going to guess Hermione Granger? <laughs> I would have. <laughs> <laughs> you came up with that. Uh, well, they got yeah, too fair. I didn't even know that they could tell this was a magnifying glass, so... That's pretty good, you guys. Yeah, that I was. thought Sherlock was going to be like the hardest one on there. I know that was pretty no. awesome, Gabby. Yeah, yeah that was impressive. Good. Thank for sure. you. Yeah. Good guess. Uh, yeah, people, other people on uh, Twitter got Sherlock too. Nice. Um, awesome. Although she, uh, Chris Halley also thought the first one was Zorro. 
besides that of Harry Potter. Oh, because of oh, the okay. head? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I don't, I don't think they said they do it on people's foreheads, really, usually. <laughs> right. That's, I was confused, but I was just throwing things out, you know. Yeah. No, <laughs> I was going to try Dementor. I wasn't sure how anyone would do Dementor. I, I didn't know how to start. I was hoping to see if someone could figure that out, but I'm sorry. And Princess yeah. Leia, you could have done, like... Oh. Yeah. Like that. <laughs> yeah, with, with all of your abundance I could totally of do that. There, you could totally do that. I could totally do that. Yeah. Oh my gosh. <laughs> put, on my, put on my metal bikini. <laughs> 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 we know that's what you wear underneath a t shirt every time. It's very true. <laughs> oh my gosh. It's too funny. Uh, Sean Smith, our buddy who was on a few weeks ago, is giving me shit for Nicole totally uh, wrecking me on this game. Yeah. Demolishing. You know what, though? Yeah. I have to say, I totally redeemed myself because when Jeff was in L.A., we did a game night with some other web series, and I could not be charades whatsoever. Do you remember that? I was warm. Was that, oh, was that the played, name, that geeky tune? No, we played a game night with our friends, at, not on Super Geek Dope, just hanging out. And I actually owned charades that day. Yeah. He was great at it. <laughs> was that the and one with the different like, rounds? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Jeff's really good at that game. That's why I, I think like, Jeff. I think really Jeff good. is traumatized right now that he yeah. lost. So let's all go to this. Let's all come over to our houses and watch us play games there, and you'll see how awesome I am. <laughs> and how normally it's not okay, awesome. Jeff. It's gonna be okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's too funny. It's a very traumatic experience. I did pretty well the last time when you. I think it was last week. I did really yeah. well. I got you five. Two, two weeks in a row. Yeah. Yeah, you tweeted what? me saying that you won the game. I was like, what? Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> right. I won the game. Uh, Acrodius tweets in, Jeff would have made an excellent Hermione. You might get awkward and Ron shows up. I don't think that would be awkward. I'm cool with that. <laughs> He's like, I'm way taller, so. <laughs> I like red hair. Um, Although limited release is saying, uh, Jeff trying Hermione probably would have produced guesses like triple jerking. <laughs> exactly. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. All right. Let's. We have uh, one more segment to do geeky casting. But if you're on the recorded version, we're gonna take one last commercial break. We'll see you back in a second. Welcome back from commercial break. <laughs> there it is. That's the best one yet. There it is. That's what you're looking for. So. <laughs> Hope you enjoy that commercial for how to jerk off with three hands. All right. <laughs> Oh my God. Useful information. Yes. <laughs> yes. What's the character in that. Checker's Guide to the Galaxy that has an extra arm? Which one is that? Never mind. I, I don't know. Twitter <laughs> help us out. Twitter help us out. That, that news article that there's a woman who like did the three, three breasts. Yeah. Yes, that was, is that real? Uh, at midnight. No, it was a hoax. It was done at was midnight the other night. Really? It was a hoax. Yeah. They were treating it like it was totally real though. Yeah, it's not. She admitted it was a hoax. <laughs> <laughs> the it was, well, that's actually fine. I was kinda, I was, no, I was actually kind of grossed out, to be honest with you, when I saw the picture. It wasn't like the Total Recall. The Total Recall one was good, you know. Yeah, that one was good. <laughs> yeah, she had a yeah the bikini she chose to cover the three. It just it wasn't flattering. Oh. It just wasn't flattering. I just don't know how three boobs can be flattering, but it just you know. I really no. Okay, it was yeah. a good try. <laughs> yeah, it was a it was a valiant effort, but nah. but you know, also to be pragmatic, like how do you find clothes that fit you properly if you have a third? Yeah, I yeah. Uh, <laughs> no. I mean, as girls who have boobs, do we any of us want a third one? I don't think so. No, no, two are enough trouble. Good, man. Way uh, too yeah, much. Yeah. yeah, yeah. You agree, Jeff? That's the story. I was like, there's no way it's going to be that. There's Jeff no is way. taking... This is an he's, awesome conversation. He's yeah. uh, pretty good <laughs> on this one. He's not stressed. Yes, Jeff, tell us your thoughts on boobs. Uh, <laughs> I, really, know. I really like them. <laughs> the more, the merrier. <laughs> That's what I always say. <laughs> Didn't we say might, before we went live that the the girls girl against guy show. anyway? <laughs> Are we in the air? I, no, on no, this no, show no. right now, we have ten boobs, actually. Yeah. In total. It's, that's an impressive Terrible amount of boobs. Yeah. yeah. That is a lot of boobs. <laughs> <laughs> might, might, that yeah, might be a yeah. record. 
I think that's yeah. a record. <laughs> they don't make bikinis um, for those. To to distract no. slightly from talking boobs, um, Underground Badger Nicole is telling you that you should retire now from charades as the all time champion just to drive Jeff nuts. <laughs> <laughs> I'd be fine with that because I hope we never play that game again. Uh, <laughs> I'm sorry, I ruined it for you forever with my bad guessing. <laughs> no, no, no. no. it's all Tanya. I blame Tanya totally. <laughs> To be fair, I worked on some of these at work today. Um, and Wait, how you is that fair? Like, <laughs> well, we actually like how if you like if you can't talk and you only have like this much space, how do you do? How did work? you replicate that? Did you cut a little cardboard Rattling. box and hold it in front of people's heads? No, no, I just basically judge them. I'm like, no, you can't do that. It's too too body movement. <laughs> Staff meeting, quick! We need to play Geeky Charades! Exactly. <laughs> I work with awesome people. <laughs> In the conference room! <laughs> That's so funny. Uh, we got some tweets here. Dazzles answers your question, uh, Tanya, about the uh, Hitchhiker's uh, Guide. Zaphod yeah, Bebo Brock has third arm and second head. How did I not remember that? It's the name of my favorite bar in Ottawa. Anyway, sorry. Continue. And uh, Necrotius, <laughs> Necrotius gives us a great title for our show tonight. Jerking off boobs in Hermione male dress up tonight on Super Geek. <laughs> yeah. Love it. With Care Bears. With Care Bears. With Care Bears. Yeah, you can't with Care Bears. Care Bears. <laughs> uh, Necrotius also says, 12, come on, Jeff has nice man boobs. Thank, thank you for recognizing me. <laughs> Aww. Do you have moves, Jeff? Do you have moves? <laughs> is, that what they, is that what they call them, moves? <laughs> yeah. Moves. Yeah. I actually don't. I actually really don't. Yeah. I, I'm sad about it. <laughs> um, limited release is saying a three-armed guide from Hitchhiker's Guide meet three-boob girl. You probably have a lot to connect on. Oh. <laughs> nice. That's like very it. nice. <laughs> right. Let's do our geeky casting segment. All right. So here is the one today, folks. Uh, so there's been a whole lot, of course, superhero movies made and then coming in the works and all that. Uh, but I want to know, and for all you Twitterers out there, what superhero or villain movie that has not been made, and also is not, I guess, not coming up either, let's see, probably, that's already in the works, uh, would you like to see be made, and who would you cast in it? Cool. Uh, Wonder Woman. And well, hey, I yeah. have boobs. I have boobs. So you, right, so you want to be Wonder Woman? Yes. I'm you qualified. Wonder, you say you'd be awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody's been wanting Wonder Woman for years, but I think she would have to be like, you know, the the comic book, you know, like serious Wonder Woman. What was her name? Diana. What, Diana. Right? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. You know, like the Amazonian, you know, super smart, cool chick. You know, not just her running around and bouncing and going like that. Right. That because that would block her boots, right? You don't <laughs> want to block her no. boots. Yeah. You never that, uh, that, so. I, I wanted a Wonder Woman for a long time, but I think we're finally going to yeah. get it. Though. As long as the uh, Batman versus Superman works fine with Gal Gadot, uh, I think they're, they're planning to do a Wonder Woman movie with her. So I, I don't yeah. know. I mean, they've been resistant to give um, Black Widow nope. and other yeah, you know, but yeah, Black that's cool. uh, they, Gal Gadot. They've been arguing against it. Gal Gadot has been signed for three movies, so it's likely one of them is a planned Wonder Woman movie if things go well. Mm -hmm. okay. Which would, which is good. We finally need one. Yeah. Now it would have been nice if Joss Whedon got to do the script he wrote for it years ago, but. Oh, there's no way they'd let him do that. <laughs> no, well, he, yeah, well, not now. He's in Avengers, but. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, what do you got? What about Tanya? What do you, what do you want to see? Uh, I mean, how to. I, honestly, I do kind of want to see a Black Widow because I just think that would be a cool story to see. Um, but and it, it's already been made, but I would love to see a remake of Buffy, not Hokey. Like, to remake it not how it was when it originally was released as a movie. Buffy, you mean? Yeah. yeah. Who would you cast? Oh, I if uh, I mean it's hard to say. I mean they all look so much older now, but you know in my mind it would be the the cast in the TV show. <laughs> oh, okay. But you know they they're all so much older now. I don't know if they could still pull that off. 
basically. Right. Yeah. Well, you know, they um, there a couple a couple years ago, they were they were gonna do a new Buffy movie. I know. But uh, they were gonna do it without Whedon, and that kind of got the big uh, axe oh, real yeah. quick, I think, because there was such a backlash about it. Yeah. yeah. Should have been. Uh, on Twitter, Necrotius wants a Darkwing Duck. I'd totally oh. be down with that. That was an awesome. Oh, that'd be cool. Yeah. Oh, that'd yeah. be cool. What is that? Darkwing Duck. It was a cartoon in the uh, 90s. Anime. Oh. A Disney, Disney cartoon. Yeah, it was awesome. Uh, I that. And Pandas Panda says he'd like to see Booster Gold and Blue Beetle. That would be very cool. I'm probably the only one who knows what the, who those are. But okay. No. Uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yep. Uh, let's see. Rebecca, do you have any choices? Uh, yeah. You know, um... I thought about this today, and I thought about a new superhero that I would like to see invented. Oh. Okay. Can I mention uh -oh. that? Yeah. Sure. Um, oh, boy. As I drove today <laughs> in rush hour, both ways, um, my superhero would be called Traffico, and he would fight rush hour traffic. <laughs> That's my superhero. <laughs> and I would cast Vin Diesel as fight traffic. <laughs> you, would, you know the trees on the side of the 101 as you're driving? It would come down and pluck cars up and just toss them. <laughs> that would be my superhero. Here's my question. How would he pick the cars? It would, just every car would. that's in my way, is the, as that's how he chooses them. Okay. So it's really a movie about you as a supervillain controlling your minions getting cars out of your way. <laughs> it's just about me getting to work on time. <laughs> That's a good one. I like yeah. that. Thank you. Gabrielle doesn't like that one. <laughs> no, no, no. I don't like traffic. <laughs> uh, Gabrielle, do you have a choice of what movie you liked it? Oh, goodness. Hmm. Little Red Riding Hood. I wouldn't have her be a damsel in distress. She could, like, take care of all, like, the creepy guys and Ooh. guys who go too yes. far with the street harassment. Because she's an adventurous kind of chick. So, yeah, yeah I'd make her a superhero. That's good. I like that. That's really That's cool. cool. That's cool. Was there a Little Red Riding Hood movie? There was. was the uh, yeah, there was. There was. was there? What was it called? Oh. What was it called? Uh, oh my god, I know exactly what one you mean. It was. Is that the one, one with the girl, movie? Kristen Stewart? Was she in that one? No, no, that was that's that's Snow White and the Huntsman. No, 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 it was Amanda Seyfried. Amanda Seyfried, yeah. It was a few years ago. Yes. Yes. Oh yeah. Oh, I have a fun one. Here's. So I would be. I okay. I would call her. Say, Carb Woman. And she would be like going around to all of the like really angry skinny girls and just like shoving croissants like powerfully in their <laughs> mouth. And she would be kind of like she would be kind of like a hero and a villain because they would hate her at the moment, but then they would love her. Love her. It's hard to say. She would she would just go and I'd have like cinnamon buns for boobs. <laughs> it would be like awesome. <laughs> That, this is the best one so far. I think everything I'm talking about centers around food. I didn't eat dinner. <laughs> <laughs> you just want croissants and cinnamon buns. I'm really hungry. Shove them in my mouth. <laughs> I could use carb woman right now. <laughs> there you go. Carb woman. I like that. <laughs> and I'm gluten free, so I think I just need a croissant. <laughs> <laughs> We've been missing a croissant for years. <laughs> uh, on, on Twitter, anyway. on Twitter, Lindsay Running says a TV adaptation of Morning Glories would be intriguing. Yes, it was. It's a very popular comic series. Uh, Sean Smith says I want someone to say Moon Knight. Well, you just said it, sir. So there you go. Uh, <laughs> David Scanlon says The Runaways. That actually would be awesome. I started. I read, started reading that recently. That's a really good series. Uh, Necrotia says, nothing says I'm paying attention to traffic like thinking about heroes to make while driving. <laughs> Why would I be paying attention during traffic? I'm not moving. I'm just sitting there. <laughs> that's, that's why we need traffic go. Exactly. Uh, timekeeper that's show. Why? Doesn't anyone understand that? Nobody understands me. <laughs> no. I get it. 
I'm with you. <laughs> Timekeeper Show says Martian Manhunter, played by the actor who did his voice in the animated series, Carl Lumley. That would be awesome. That's a great choice. Um, uh, Limited Reese is saying, not a superhero, but he would like to see the return of Beetlejuice. Oh, oh nice. That would be interesting, interesting. to see a new version of that. <laughs> yeah. Now, who would play Beetlejuice? Definitely. That's hard. Um, Ryan Reynolds. <laughs> <laughs> you know? No. No. <laughs> Come on. Johnny Depp? Johnny Depp, maybe? Oh. Yeah, but that's, that's kind of an oh. obvious one. Yeah, that's true. That's true. He always plays that kind of character. Yeah. All right, Nicole. Russell Brand. Yeah. Nicole, who's your choice for what movie you like to see? Uh, um, I was thinking Captain Planet actually, and <laughs> then I found out that apparently it's been optioned, and so it's in development. But, um, but there's no like actors attached or anything. And I want to play Winka because I'm always I'm not Russian, but I've always wanted to play her, and I could Tanya could teach me how to do a Russian accent. <laughs> I've done that before. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was, like, thinking about who would be Captain Planet, and I only came up with, like, a couple uh, of obvious... Well, what? Oh, sorry. I, I, got, I got stuck on the feed for a second. Go, please continue. Oh, oh okay. I was thinking um, Chris Pratt would be kind of cool. Um, wow. Or Robert Downey Jr. or Hugh Jackman. I, th I mean, I know they're all different, but, like, I just think they're really cool. So I think one of them <laughs> would do a really good job. And they're really hot. Right. And they're really good looking. That doesn't hurt. So, yeah. Okay. Um, I have uh, a friend of mine did um, like a Captain Planet trailer. His name is Matt Kohler. You should search it on YouTube. I just I saw know. one a couple weeks ago. Do you know I this? I saw yeah. like a fan made trailer a couple weeks ago. Yeah, yeah, it's awesome. He's yeah. he's Captain Planet. <laughs> it's oh my pretty gosh, awesome. That's so cool. <laughs> we almost, I almost I almost chose it for trailer trash last week. Yeah, but I didn't. Oh, nice. oh, really? Yeah, for our segment we do where we watch trailers. Well, you wow. should. Yes. He's a good guy. That's he, he really cool. Nicole's going to go watch that for sure. Uh, yeah. Go watch it, Nicole. <laughs> I will. You don't understand. That's my childhood. I love that show. Oh, my God. Check it out right now. Yeah, it's gotten like 2 million views or something. Wow. Cool. Wow. Well, that's very cool. Yeah. Almost as many, almost as many views as the show. All right, good. Uh, <laughs> I know. Uh, I guess I would. Um, I think I was thinking I'd like to see. Uh, you, guys, you guys might not know who this is, but Zatanna, who is a from the DC universe. She's a magic. She's mad. She can use magic, but she has to basically say everything backwards to use her magic. So oh, she has wow. to speak backwards. Yeah. Wow, um, that's cool. She's, she's pretty cool. really smart. <laughs> exactly. Uh, yeah. And uh, I was thinking uh, for anybody who watched the show Spartacus, which is one of my favorites, or she's also guest starred in Arrow, Katrina Law, I think, would be perfect for Zatanna. Uh, hey. All right. Oh, and cool. uh, limited release tweets into Rebecca. But, Your Honor, I was just trying to think of a traffic fighting hero when I created that 23 car pileup. <laughs> See? See, he gets it. <laughs> <laughs> he understands me. <laughs> all right, so I guess it's everybody, right? Yeah, cool. Uh, yeah. Thank you for your tweets, everybody. Uh, all right, cool. So I think that's going to about wrap us up for tonight. But, Nicole, you want to get some links from everybody again? Oh, sure. Um, Rebecca or Gabrielle, do you want to give a link to where people can see your show? Yeah, Gabrielle, why don't you go? Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, you can check out the new season on splittheseries.com. Uh, we have pretty active Instagram at splittheseries.com. That's also our Twitter page. Cool. Awesome. And we're on Facebook as well at facebook.com slash splitseries. Awesome. And then, Lisa, do you have, like, um, a personal website that you wanted to link people to or...? Sure. I'm at lisaromain.net. Cool. Come and check Yeah. <laughs> Woo. What about uh, Tanya? What about Hi. you? Um, you can see Asset, which is all released on jts.tv slash asset. Cool. Right. Jeff? And SuperDogDub is at SuperDogDub.com. 
Also, please check out our parent company, Frostbite Pictures, which is frostbitepictures.com and at FrostbitePix on Twitter. Um, go watch Split, everybody, please, after the show. Uh, mm -hmm. you got season one to watch and now a couple episodes of season two that just came out. Uh, and uh, thank you guys so much for being on. Oh, God, really thank you. Thank you. What? Bye, what? guys. Wait, 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 wait. Don't go yet. We're not done. Wait, right, right, right. I said, don't forget to watch Progress. It's oh, <laughs> and Nicole needs yeah. to give her links. Oh, I, sorry, <laughs> okay. Nicole. I thought you already did because you were really good. Bye, man. It's okay. No problem. All right, progressesteries.com. <laughs> All right. The fastest so, um, plug ever. <laughs> uh, we like to uh, we like to do our little uh, end here, folks. Where we're uh, when I do my last line, we're all gonna say in unison, "Super geeked up." All right. All right. So just watch when right. I point it point at the camera. That's what we're gonna say it. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. So uh, everybody watching out there live, thank you so much. We really appreciate you tuning in live and all your funny tweets every week. Um, and uh, all right. So thank you for so much. Next week, one hundredth episode. Please, please, please tune in. It's going to be an awesome show. Out with Dad is going to be here. A lot of other, maybe some special guests as well. Uh, that's Wednesday, 11 p.m. Eastern, 8 p.m. Pacific, as always. And uh, we'll see you then. Until then, stay... Super Geek Out! Super Geek Out!